Let's start with the source of our data. In Tableau Public, you can only connect files like CSV, JSON, Microsoft Access, and Google Sheets. The next component is Tableau Public Desktop. It is free version of Tableau Desktop. It's software that you can download and install at your PC. So here we start by connecting Tableau Public to our files by creating a data source. And in the data source, we have only one type of connection. It is the extract. So the data should be copied from our files to be loaded inside Tableau Public Desktop. So there is no live connection option. And then after that, we're going to start building our visualizations or we call it Vizs. And now once we are done building the views and the dashboards using Tableau Public Desktop, we have here only one option to share it. And that is to share the whole workbook, your data and the Vizs to Tableau Public. And Tableau Public is a free platform hosted from Tableau team to share the visualizations from the whole world. And once our visits are published to Tableau Public, they can be now consumed from users all around the world. And here we have few options. The users can use their web browsers to view and interact with your visualizations, or users can download the whole workbook, your data and the visits in different formats, like Tableau file, TWBX, or Excel, PDF, images, and so on. And the last option of consuming, your visits can be embedded into your websites and blogs. Okay, so now since Tableau Public is free, it comes with few limitations. At the source level, we can connect Tableau Public only to files. The data connectors are very limited and we cannot connect, for example, to servers. And in the next level, at the public desktop level, there is limitation in the data source. We have only one type of connections and that is the extract. So we cannot have a live connections to the sources and the workbook itself, it can contains only maximum 15 million rows. And we cannot save the workbook locally at our computer. The only option to share it is to publish it to the Tableau public. But there is like a workaround for that. I'm gonna show that in the next tutorial. All right, so now let's move to the sharing level to Tableau public. Here we have as well few limitations. For example, the total available size for each account is only 10 gigabytes, and there is no way to refresh your data automatically. Each time you need new data, you have to manually republish the workbook with new data. And the third one, it's gonna be public, so there is no way to make it like private and to share it with only few people. You have always to publish it to the whole world. And now let's move to the final level we have the consumers. The only limitation here is that you cannot use Tableau Mobile to access and interact with the visualizations. All right, everyone. So I decided to use Tableau Public in this Tableau course since it's free and all of you can follow me with the examples without having you to pay for extra licenses and the limitations that we have in Tableau Public, they are not really relevant for the learning process. So the main features of Tableau, the data visualizations that we have in Tableau Desktop, they are all available as well in Tableau Public without any limitations. So don't worry about it. All right, everyone. So with that, we have learned the Tableau architecture and its components, and we learned how Tableau internally works. And with that, we have covered the theory parts of Tableau. And in the next section, we will start preparing your environment so you can practice Tableau with me during the course. So let's jump in.